This is the only place in the world you can experience a, a facility that people have launched to the moon. And that's what we do with the uh, International Camp KSC, is to give you an introduction, welcome you to it, and show you what we've done in the past. And face it, this is one of the coolest places in the world, so getting to see all aspects of it is a really important part of that program. First challenge that we challenge your campers to do is that we wanted them to design a truss, which is started out as the backbone of the International Space Station that is still in orbit today. The main thing about the truss is that during the early space shuttle program days, uh, we had no idea what structural properties worked the best. And in space, we found out that trusses are the strongest kind of shape. And we later adopted that into our kind of space station. Um, so we wanted them to use the design principles and the engineering challenges to come up in their groups to build a strong, uh, what we call a truss or a bridge to hold weight. And whoever holds the most weight um, ends up winning that engineering challenge. Three, two, one, good. Three, two, one, good. The next engineering challenge that we did was we had them design a rocket that we had to build out of just some materials given. Uh, so this tested their ability to be their own rocket engineer and designing and building a rocket that they would launch. Good job. Good job. The next engineering challenge that we did was we've made a multi-purpose crew vehicle and uh, for this challenge they would have to use all the materials in the bag that they were given, uh, work in groups again to design a capsule that would carry cargo from a short distance, say the top of a building to the ground and hopefully it will protect the crew. We had to train in simulators in order for the astronauts to be able to keep their cool. So the first one you're going to do is going to be the multi-axis trainer. So that's what we have the students do. They spin in multiple directions to give them that disorientating feel so they can see um, how much brain power, if you will, it really takes to be an astronaut. <laughs> So because there is actually no such thing as a zero gravity chamber, what we do is put the children um, up on ladders that are uh, working with a counterbalancing system, which gives you kind of the same feeling as scuba diving when you are weightless, basically. In order to uh, get capsules up into space, we really need to know the trajectories. That's very, very important to make sure that, you know, um, Earth is moving, the moon is moving, Mars is moving. So we need to make sure that we do our math correctly in order to get um, the spacecraft to the actual destination. <laughs> um, I'm going to go over the bus tour that you guys participated in today. Now getting ready to pass is NASA's Vehicle Assembly Building. This is the largest single story building by volume in the entire United States. And the stripes on the American flag, they are wide enough to drive the Kennedy Space Center bus that you are on right now. Also next to the Vehicle Assembly Building, you will be able to see the mobile launch platform that's being built for the Space Launch System. So we are now getting ready to pass Pad 39A. This is the closest pad to the shuttle program when it was during its operation. So today we are going to go to the Saturn V complex. Uh, this complex is where we house the world's biggest and most powerful rocket that has ever flown, and this is the rocket that took our astronauts to the moon through the Apollo program. So we're going to go inside Space Shuttle Atlantis. Outside the building is the orange external tank and the solid rocket boosters, but inside the building is the real spacecraft that has traveled 33 different times in space, has landed on Earth, and is still here with us today. <laughs>
goes on and on and on and on and boom Clap and make me feel good, come on